the beauty of our scene, I know that we can we can definitely entice a lot of people. So share it as much as you can. Twitter, Facebook, oh Mom. Oh, oh my gosh! And Beer Man goes straight in with that signature aggression. That was ridiculous. Beer Man, he's he's known for uh, killing you three stocks in a row in less than uh, 30 seconds, and then killing three of his own stocks in a row in less than five. <laughs> Absolutely. And Vortex is a Long Island player, right? Yep, he's from Westchester. Goes to Stony Brook, uh, taking online courses this year, so he's. Home for or this semester, he's home in Westchester and going to Smash Corner a lot. Um, recently, having a Pete DJ um, and having Swift Bass as yep, well, having a lot of close sets with other really strong players. So he is no joke. Absolutely, he's but, one of the up and comers around here. Yeah, but the beer man is he is firmly in control right now. Now, when you fight Beer Man, what what goes through your mind? Like, because he's such a different player. <laughs> he's not like any Falco I've ever played before. Yeah, it's it's really fluster. It flusters me um, because he's so fast and so aggressive, and he, he's not afraid at all. And usually, people who play, you know, with oh, good edge guard there with that back air. Um, mm. People who play with like with reckless abandon usually get wobbled a lot, so it's not a problem. But it always takes me a second to get used to it and like how reckless his abandon really is. Yeah. So, I, and I think perhaps um, Vortex is slowly starting to get a feel for it. Um, he's not getting just opened up by every little hit anymore because he sort of has a better understanding of where they're coming from and where they're going. And one unique thing about uh, Beer Man that not a lot of people talk about is his pressure game is absolutely unique. He, he spaces really, really well. He hits you in angles that most Falcos won't hit you in. Like that laser right there, like right off the platform, not a lot of people would think to do that. They would just run off back air and just cover that. He but loves he... lasering off platforms, yeah. Oh, yes. And he's he just never stops going forward. That's the one read you could always have on Beer Man, <laughs> is that he's going to keep attacking. Yep. And he also spot dodges in between his aggression. Yeah. When he thinks he's going to get hit, he spot dodges. <laughs> it's really weird. And the other, th oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Bye. And the other thing is he's so comfortable with all these combo angles that that's one of the reasons why he's not afraid to send people at those angles. Because um, he knows, oh my gosh, because he knows he can cover it. All right. This could be something. If he plays on uh, Beer Man's aggret. Oh! <laughs> and there it is. That's the classic Beer Man. He was just wrecking him the entire game and then uh, SDs. Uh, it's a classic. It reminds me of... Uh, his last game of last Nebulous against a certain Peach player, where the Peach player was above 100%, and he came with a fresh stock, and he does laser, laser forward smash towards the edge. And that Peach player says, all right, thank you very much. I'll just gimp you now. <laughs> Man, that's not how it ha I, I That's exactly how it happened. Hit, Wait, but you had to be good enough to do that. Well, but he double laser from the ledge. Yeah, no, I'm like, that got him to the edge in the first place. He went at oh. you, like, laser, laser, forward smash, and you were floating right above it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you dropped down and hit him off stage. Oh, yeah. It was great. It was like classic beer man. Like, oh, yeah, he had times. a good lead. He could do well. And yeah, he, he like, could have just hung let, back and got it back Let me just hit him there. now. He just always wants to attack. He doesn't want to waste time. Exactly. And he takes him to Dreamland. I've never heard of beer man go to Dreamland. He usually uh, goes to Yoshi's or Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, I don't know. But, you know, you never know what Beers Man's going to do, so... It could be something with how the combos flow oh. against Sheik. Oh, my gosh. Like, look at that. Uh, <laughs> that laser movement is so ridiculous. Ooh. A good forward there. Oh, he missed it. I think... Oh, my God. I actually think that was good on... Um, Beerman's part. I think he jumped back when he should have gotten hit by that needle. Yeah, it was, it, he spaced his recovery just a little bit so he was out of the range of the needles. Mm. All right, so Vortex trying to keep it close. Oh my gosh, all these needles are missing. Mm. He hasn't really gotten punished for them yet, but yeah, he's losing, missing out on a lot of opportunities that would be started. Oh. Mm. All right, so Beer Man with a lead. Oh, good pressure. Uh, you see, that's that's exactly what happened. He rolled, but he knew that uh, Vortex would try to chase it, so he just spot dodges instead of tries to get out of the way. He wants to stay in the same position, 
but <laughs> with uh, spot dodges. Right. Oh my god. This is looking a lot like the first game. Right. The thing about Beerman is he's so aggressive. Like once you once you finally get back on uh, your own offense, you forget like what you had to do because you're like, <laughs> wait a minute, I've been on defense this whole time. Yeah. All right, so we got an guard. Oh, that was weird. Down air. Oh, back air. Yeah, the down air, he would, uh, Vortex would have been able to DI it in and tighten. So the back air sent him off stage. But that was that was really good by Vortex to be able to turn that situation around. Yeah, absolutely. Get, his, get the stock himself. Ooh, Ooh, this could be huge. Oh, uh, I just missed it. Just oh. by one hair. Yeah, and he knows that would have been the stock. But you got to get that out of your mind. Oh, my God. I don't know how I feel about down smash in that situation, but I don't know how I feel about beer man in any situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that should have been something. Yeah. <laughs> beer man wow. reaches, reaches for the beer, and I think he just said no bands. This, these matches are so much harder to commentate. Because Beerman is sudden. <laughs> I can't tell you. I can't tell the stream right now what he's thinking. Yeah, nobody knows what he's thinking. He's the ultimate troll. Mm. And so we have Battlefield, the New York Classic. Ooh. Gets right underneath the Nair, and Amidu starts punishing. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like the down smash in that situation. He just kind of got him off. What might you have... Uh preferred he opt for there. Um I wanna maybe falling up air. Oh okay. Would've been nice right off the edge. Like drop through the platform. Yeah. Ooh. That that was just so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to just I didn't want to go back to it because then I'd be talking about it for a little bit. Right. Ooh. Oh yeah. That's always tough when you you think you got him so you just roll off but then you're in a terrible situation. Mm. Beer man with the flowing water to get the stock instead of just holding the ledge. <laughs> and then Vortex evens it up quickly. Throw three stocks apiece. All right, so for those who are just tuning in, this is actually 1 1 between Vortex and Beer Man. We can't update the scores because our stream guy, Nick Kavorkian, is out playing match. Oh my god. Nick Kavorkian. <laughs> All right. So, he didn't get the kill there. He still has all this control. Oh, wow. Back throw. Ooh, that's a good nair, but he didn't get the right trajectory on it. Right. Ooh, he's starting to catch up. That's looking a lot like this Peach player versus uh, Beer Man. <laughs> where I just realized that Beer Man wants to start forward smashing, and I just hold shield forever. He really does like the forward smash. He does. And he's quite good at it. He is. Yeah. He gets at least 50%, and that's really good. But then he also dies off of 50%. So right. that's the beer man way. Ooh, <laughs> flowing water. <laughs> oh, my. Never in my Just life would I have predicted here. that punish. <laughs> <laughs> we have a really tight battle right now. Oh, he, he read oh. the roll in, but just mistimed that forward, forward tilt. I think Vortex is starting to get a little too scared of going for the grab. Yeah. I think he's afraid he's... Oh, oh my gosh. He just shined in like 30 different directions <laughs> and then did that. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, oh Beer Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Beer Man. Insane combo to end oh it. Oh, my God.